Yo, 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 what it do? Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Let's go, Sergeant.
Yo, 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 test it, one, two, three, test it, one, two, three. Let's see. Test the test in one, two, three. Test the test in one, two, three. Bet. Yeah. Being yeah, that third, that's all I need to know. Oh, um, yeah. Grab some target practice while you can, we're deploying soon. Enemy soldier incoming. Warm-up's done. Time to kick this off. I'm just going to discard the changes because I've already had one saved. If I open the software again... by completing contracts, looting, or eliminating targets. All right, soldier, mark a drop point for your team.
you have that set up, you're going to make sure that you exceed all three of I will not fail. into the area. Watch the skies. Extraction is standing by. Mark an LZ for pickup. Supply box identified. Mark it location now. display settings. Right now I have my main screen selected. You can choose other stuff here. You don't need to because a lot of people just want to make sure they have their full potential for their monitor with their gaming because they want to be able to use those milliseconds that really do count in a competitive sense. So with my main monitor selected here, you can see here that it's at 1440p which is 2k and it's at 144 hertz. Now if you know that your computer screen is, let's say, max at 60 hertz, but you know it's a 144 hertz monitor, just go to the properties here and you can actually go and change it down in the monitor settings here. Here's the hertz. Sometimes it caps it at 60, but you can actually get it back to 144 hertz. So a lot of people have had that issue and I hope that helps, especially with capture cards. This is where the tricky part comes in for some people. What you're going to do is you're going to download OBS Studio onto your gaming PC. Don't worry, you're not going to be streaming from it or recording. Recording. The whole point of having a dual PC setup is to spread the load and use your resources wisely because maybe you don't have a powerful computer, so you're going to spread the load between two moderately okay computers. So what you're going to do is once you've downloaded OBS, and by the way, the reason why I say don't download Slobs or Streamlabs OBS to do this on your gaming PC is because Streamlabs OBS is not as optimized for your computer resources. So it takes up more resources than OBS Studio. And the whole point of this is to minimize the amount of resources your gaming PC is using so that you can use that and direct it towards your game. And so once you're in OBS on your gaming PC and you've set up your whole display settings and everything like that, make sure your capture card is all set up. We're going to right click in sources and we're going to click add and we're going to add a display capture. Once you've choose the name. Obviously it's going to pick up my main screen here. You can obviously have different options. I'm going to choose this one because that's what I want. Click OK. You can see that's my display here. And then what I'm going to do is once you have OBS open on your gaming PC, you're going to have it open whenever you stream. Right click on this uh, preview screen, full screen projector hey. and do Elgato HD 60S. Now we'll your main see. computer screen is going to be duplicated into your capture card and into the stream PC. That way you don't have to worry about duplicating it with your display settings and losing your frames per second or hertz because a lot of people have had that issue. So OBS fixes that issue. And then when you set up your scene in OBS or Streamlabs or XSplit, whatever you use on your streaming PC, make sure you obviously create a scene and then you're going to right click which you add a source and you're going to add a video capture device. Obviously name it whatever you like. And then choose the Elgato HD60S. This is the capture card that you're going to have plugged into your stream PC. And that is also projecting from OBS through your capture card into the stream PC. Remember, you have to have OBS Studio open on your gaming PC if you're going to project it with OBS into your capture card. 
Right, now that you've got your gaming PC onto your stream PC, we're going to do the audio. If you don't have an audio sound board or a GoXLR or anything that's related to hardware, I do have a tutorial on how to connect your gaming audio and your microphone audio from your gaming PC to your stream PC without using any hardware and without paying for any software. There's free software, I'll leave a link right up here. You can see how to bridge the gap for your audio with your microphone and with your gaming audio and you can connect that straight into your stream PC. I'm going to talk about how to set it up with the GoXLR. I have also shown how to set up your GoXLR from start to finish, the correct audio settings and to fine tune it all and make sure that you have it used to the best quality and to the best potential that it has. Link to that video is also up there on how to set up your GoXLR. As far as audio goes for your dual PC stream, you can download the Pedalboard 2 software. It's free. You can also get some plugins to utilize and make it more than what it actually is out of the box. You can download that, capture your microphone audio that will go into the software and that will go through your capture card into your stream PC. That way you don't have to use two microphones, you can only use one. Again, that video is in the top right of the cards. So the way I'm going to start out is I'm going to just have a levels. And what we're going to do is just grab the output, set it here. Oh, we're going to grab the output 1, put it here, output 2 as well, and uh, this will increase or decrease your levels. So I'm just going to bring it down to here, then what I'm going to do is add a noise gate or a G gate. This will just essentially cut off some of the stuff, so let's drag both left and right channels into the noise gate. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to add a VU meter, which just essentially shows the, the levels of my audio. So if I drag that out into here, there's my left channel, you can see me talking there, and then there's the right channel. And you can see if I drag these up and down, the level here, you can see how much it increases and decreases. So I'm going to leave it at about that. And then with the noise gate or the G gate here, if I click the E over here, you can adjust, you can see how much it'll attack the threshold and the fade. So it just takes a bit of messing around, but the attack is how quick it happens, the fade is how long it fades out until you won't be able to hear anything, and the threshold right now is at negative 75 dB. With that I go usually to about negative 19 or something like that, so when I stop talking you'll see there's no audio levels, watch this. Now to finally send this out to your your, your streaming PC and everything, just drag the left and right channels to the output from your G gate. Let's get the right as well. Put that there. I just have this here so I can see my levels. You can't actually send your channels out through this into something else. So I send it straight from my G gate. This is just so I can monitor that. Uh, let's say that we're happy with all of this, with the G gate and the levels and everything, and we want to send it, send it all the way into our stream PC. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to options, we're going to go to audio settings, and these will be different initially. So what you need to do is go to direct sound, this is what works for me, then you go to your output, make sure it's your capture card, right now I've set it to HD60S. Um, there's also speakers, Elgato sound capture, but that didn't work for me, so I chose this one. And my output, I'm going to leave it at the primary sound capture driver, because if you want to change your microphone input, just choose whichever one you want. Uh, right now it would be USB, but I'm going to leave it at my default, because that works. So then what I can do is I can go to file and save as, and save it as a preset wherever I want, name it. And the nice thing is, because the issue is when I close the software, I'm just going to discard the changes because I've already had one saved. If I open the software again, um, it sets up as a default again every single time, which is annoying. So what I've done is when I've saved my preset, I just go to File, Open, and it already opens to where I last saved something. I just double click on it and there it is again. As far as setting up the audio with your GoXLR, there is a full video in the top right in the cards, but here's a quick important note that you must take once setting do you want to create your own emotes in just a few clicks? Choose a drawing style. Customize your look. And generate 25 emotes. Only the largest online shop for streamers. More than 100,000 streamers already trust us. Get your individual emotes now at own.tv. Dear Road 
rivals. I hug the road with all-wheel drive. That's not even an option on the Honda Accord. Where's the love? Come on, Camry all-wheel drive. Toyota, let's go places. Thing up, you're going so hard. So the way you route this is actually very simple. You've got a power supply in the back of the Go XLR, which you simply plug into a wall. Then you've also got a USB, which you connect to the PC. You plug your headphones in through the headphone jack, and you plug your microphone, assuming you have a headphone microphone or one that plugs in through a 3.5 millimeter jack. Plug that into the microphone input. If you have a dual PC stream setup, make sure that you have the line out on the Go XLR connected via 3.5 millimeter jack to the in port or the line in on your stream PC. And make sure you have the line out from the stream PC go to the line in on the Go XLR. And of course, if you have an XLR microphone, make sure you connect the XLR cable to the back of the Go XLR. Alright, your first tab is here, which is your microphone. But before that, you have to go into the settings in your audio hardware here. Right click on this, open sound settings. First thing you're going to do, sound control panel. Alright, you can see here, if I drag this over, there's already a few different, there's like five or six of these, and you're trying to guess which one do I choose? Well, you see system, sample, music, game, and chat. This board is so powerful and so smart, you can choose where to send all of these samples to, or sounds to. So, for example, system, this is where you're going to hear everything. Make sure you set it as default right over here. I've already done it, it's got a check mark. Now, with chat, you want to make sure you set this as default communications device. If I go down here, default communications device. What am I forgetting? Oh, how about cameras? Having a face cam on your stream is very important. So, this one specifically is a 6500, there's a 5100, 4500, 5100, whatever you call them. You can even use a GoPro. Now, you obviously got to connect it through an HDMI into your camera. And. Mission failed. Go next time. You can connect your HDMI cable into your DSLR, then connect that HDMI into your. Learn the chat. Well, this is technically a cam link, which is Elgato's. This is the 4K version. You can use an Elgato HD60S, the same capture card as I've been talking about before. <coughs> I haven't explained really how that works as well. Link in the top right in the cards. You can connect it to your cam link, plug it into your stream PC, and you've got your face cam all set up. But there is another way to do this in case this solution doesn't work, or you don't want to have OBS on your main view. There is another solution. So. NDIs are actually pretty useful, and to be completely honest, I haven't done a lot of NDI streaming, but I know someone who has a buddy of mine, Lipster09, he's a Twitch streamer, uh, he's been for a while now, he has a dual PC set up and he uses NDI to do that between the uh, gaming PC and the streaming PC. Here's what he has to say about that. Well, I'm not sure nine, and today we're going over how to PC stream. Now, I've noticed there's four positives for NDIs. The first one is that you send all of your audio and video to the PC and the other. So you can do Number two is that you actually can use on Streamlabs, OBS, OBS, or both. I'll touch on that later. Number three is the NDI plugin for your streaming software, but there's also the NDI scanner tool that you can use in order to send your signal over to the PC. The four is a hundred percent free, so you can download it and use it right now since you spent all that money on PC stream. Now, some of the negatives I've seen is that all of the sound actually goes through a single channel. So, if you want to alter your mic, gameplay, or anything like that, you actually need to use a gaming PC, not a streaming PC. Number two is that you actually have to apply the NDI source to every scene you're trying to use the sound in. So if you want to be on starting soon, live stream, and your lobby stream, you actually have to add that same guy source in each one. Number three is that you actually need to be on a wired network. Now just what I was talking about, it needs to be on every scene. This can actually cause a little bit of a network uh, bottleneck. This is on your local area network. There shouldn't be that much strain on it, so you should be, you know, make sure you're on a wired network and this is going on. And the last one is if you're changing scenes, Sometimes the audio doesn't actually work. So you may see the mixer move, but the audio doesn't get Just make sure that you read 
below the API source, so we should be. Now, some of the main differences I've noticed if you want to use the NGI new tech tools. I've had OPS give me frame drop due to encoding lag, so your audio video skipping. I would say just go ahead and download the NGI new tech scanner tool off of the new tech website. And it's very simple to set up. You just click on it, it goes to your system tray, and it has all the settings you would need, whether you want to add your mic or your audio or whatever. And then it's sending that source of I am Loki of Asgard, and you will regret this. I ain't wait no more, let's get it. Get yourself the proper warm-up, we'll be deployed soon. Hostile dropping into the area, watch the skies!
All right, that's enough fucking about. Now we do this for real. by completing contracts, looting, or eliminating targets. Mark a drop point for your team. You'll lead them in. We are above the landing zone. Be ready to jump. Strike, you are clear to engage. Is standing by. Mark an LZ for pickup. This is Striker 3 1, good copy. Strike him out. No hits on that run.
Let's do this. Mark target for airstrike. Bring it. This is Striker 3-1. Good copy. Strike inbound. Impact, no joy. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. It was a little choppy, man. There we go. I'm too hot.
overhead. I will not That's another bird? Uh, yeah, we say that for every bird. Oh, yeah, I want to see that. You might as see both of them. Dropping into the AO.
Using the phone, man.
Hold it for deployment. Now's a good time to warm up. practice. Time for the real thing. Approaching your position, move to the safe zone. Targets in the AO.
UAV overhead. up soldier win here and you return to the front line but if you lose you're done time to earn your freedom soldier
What's up, bro? Oh, man, you ain't trying to get on? You ain't trying to get on? I need somebody to get in with me. What's up, bro? I'm on the PC. Uh, on, uh, on the Xbox. Xbox, you can still play with me. Huh? You can still play with me. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yep, it's it's cross play, so you can play with me. I everybody can play together. Uh, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, I don't wait on you. Yeah, uh, let's get some of this plunder in, man. I'm trying to get the billion, man. I'm trying to get to a billion. No cap. Wait for uh, chat. 
You green hop in, Breaker Boy 247. You green get it in. And I'm waiting on Bro Boo. Where he at? Let me see. He ain't hopped on yet. Hello. Hello. Chopping on the daily, trying to make it stretch. I know that damn that that uh that sounds to me. Who this? Who? This Chris. Chris who? Ah, uh, what's happening, bro? I ain't doing shit, chilling, streaming. Yeah. Shit, it's cool. Yeah, it's Gucci. I ain't, I ain't been fucking with, I ain't been over there. Yeah, I ain't been. Yeah, I'm at three. All right, cop. All right. Travel out on a daily, try to make the money stretch. Way low up to load up. Why he doing that? I can fix a gun up real quick, man. No cap. See what I get. Let's see what I get. That's turning play right there. I can't fuck with that load at all. Let's see what load that I can fuck with. I ain't gonna fuck with that. Cause that's that oh, I do wanna fuck with that. What up, Mom? So, um, go for me, say, I'm in a hard field, and say, I'm in a bed. Down on the zip. It's say, like unavailable. Yeah, you got a rock on the car, too. 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 You got a I'm trying to see why I got a lock on Warzone. That's free play for everybody. What's the RS play? RS? Uh, right stick? The right stick? Go to uh you got you got Xbox Live and all that shit? Yeah. I, I don't know man, cause my shit was acting funny yesterday. That's why I quit streaming yesterday. It was a lot of people quit streaming last night because it was fucking up last night on the Xbox and PlayStation on console play and shit like that, so motherfuckers was I don't know what's been going on. That's why I ain't even been fucking with that motherfucker, man. I just been straight on the PC. Damn, man. I'm trying to, I need somebody to roll with me, man. Yeah, this ain't ready to play. It's like 87%, but... Oh, it ain't ready then. It ain't ready, huh? It ain't ready. You gotta be at 100? Yeah, it gotta be at 100. Yeah. It gotta be at 100. It'll take forever for that motherfucker. You got it hardwired or what? It still be taking forever for that motherfucker whole thing to download, though, no cap. Yeah, but I got my character back on GTA, though. That's what's up, 
Oh, what, what you talking? Oh, on Xbox. On the Xbox, nigga. I'm talking about nigga. He had, um, he like a. I'm, I'm about to say like rank level, but I remember when I was touching him. This one, I was touching him right. Like I bought all the like every coach spot in the city, all the weed spot in the city, like, all the bitches spot in the city. Yeah. Like everybody else got a job. I don't have to go do that shit. Like, I'm just in the city. Like, but I bought all the business. I got clothes. I got, uh, 10 houses. Like, that was so, and I got a new money in my bank. I just bought stuff right now. Yeah. Dallas, I had seen on there a little bit earlier. That's my first time I like it better, cuz. I like this one better. To be honest. Damn, I kind of want to hop on that motherfucker. Then the niggas called me. Uh, the, uh, the, call me, cuz. Yeah. Hey, so look. So what's up? You wanna hop on GTA? Yeah, we can yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm ready to switch out to the Xbox then real quick. Alright, okay. I got the same name. I only got added on Xbox. Shit. I'm the same, I'm the same one on Xbox. Going on GTA, man. I'm going on GTA. We gonna cause some havoc. Straight up, we gonna cause some havoc. Let me see how I'm trying to how I can do it though. I'm going to have to stop the stream and start it right back up. Yeah. Damn. Well, that's all I'm going to have to do. Start the stream and start it. Stop the stream and start it right back up. Let me see. Yeah. I might not even have to start the stream over with now that I think of it. I might not have to start that motherfucker. Oh, boy, hold on. Let me do this here real quick.
concern of what Yeah. Mm-hmm.